So welcome for one more video. This song is called Rebirth and it's, it is the song that gives title to the album. And uh, it was the first uh, song that I started to work on uh, when I decided to make this album. And I am about to redo the bass and some guitars and add some percussion. But before that, I'm just gonna re, re have a listen to the drums. So I'll just let you listen to it. So, drums. Here's the plug in. So now I'm, ha I'm happy with the drums, and what I'll do is mute the bass. And I'm just gonna jam and see what sound do I want on the on the bass. Yeah, I want it bassy, very subby. So I've been messing about with the sound of uh, the bass. There's the bass amp head. But the magic, the sound, most of the sound is actually happening here. So you can see it's, it has more character and it's louder. So now we're ready, let's record the bass. So the bass is done, now I'm gonna do the guitar, uh, which the guitar line which is doing the same as the bass. I'm gonna use this one, which I haven't used yet for this album. It has new strings, it's sounding really good. So, let's record this guitar. With this pickup, the bridge. So you get a uh, high pitched to cut through a bit better in the mix. I think I'm just gonna add. So I'm gonna go for a take. Let's try this angle here. That's enough. So for the chorus, I am gonna also add some shakers. Recording stereo one left, like. So I'm just thinking I want to make this chorus even bigger. Why not a 12 string? It's pretty off tune. So that would be the simple thing to do, the intuitive thing, because it's reggae feel so. But maybe I want something more like Strummy, very strummy. And here it's overpowering everything. So my fear is that it, it loses the definition of all the 
of the melody. So, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. So I've decided to record uh, the 12 string even if I do not use it in the end. And I've decided to do a mix of reggae strumming, like the short, short strums and long strums. So like this. Like that, it still needs tuning. Uh, and to add to that, I'm going to add the cavaquinho. That's here. So let that G, it's in G minor the, the song, so let that G minor ring in the end of the chorus into the verse. Now, Cavaquinho. I'm gonna have to learn where what the chords are because I don't remember, so give me a moment. So I've worked out the chords for the Cavaquinho. I'm actually going to do one more thing here with the 12 string, which is that the hook. Ba -da -da -da. And I will do two recordings actually, so that I can pan left and right, and it's going to make it even bigger. So check this out. That's better. And now I'll duplicate this track and record again okay Jan, one is on the right the other is on the left and then it sounds like this mm -hmm. 